Hello everybody, welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. So, well, in the last episode, I sketched out this whole general mess of a um, processing facility down here, and we're just and now we're waiting for the um, for the robot ports to get built and the bots to come out and build everything up that I've that I've requested, and that's going to take approximately forever. So I thought while we're waiting, we'll have a bit more bit of a uh, combat episode and go out and take some freedom to the biters as it were maybe clear out some of this area down here because I'm sort of starting to expand towards it and maybe push down a bit further or I could clear, clear out this area up here we'll, we'll see see what I feel like once I've got everything ready so in order to get that up and running and and working successfully I've started researching tanks and that required researching a previous type of weaponry as well and I've also picked up a couple of extra vehicle modules to find them so we've got um, now got vehicle fusion reactors vehicle equipment so for shields and things um, and I'm sure there was a vehicle weapon as well. I picked up vehicle plasma turrets as well, the a precursor to this one, I think. So that's going to allow me, once this re research finishes, I should be able to build up a tank, and then with that, and put some plasma turrets on it as well, and then with that, I should be able to go out and um, easily, <laughs> he says optimistically, hopefully easily uh, defeat the biters. So we shall see. Another thing I'm going to need to think about is putting the sodium hydroxide, that's this stuff that comes out of here, onto a train in order to get it all the way over here, 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 where I'm going to need it for for this alumina stage down here. So there's a, there's another thing to think about there. But at the moment, I'm a little bit excited about the tanks. I want to get them up, up and working, and I think so. I think that could potentially be interesting. So I built myself up one of these generators, which I can. How big are they? <laughs> which won't fit in there. Okay. I also put one in here, which is now powering these um, construction these robo ports. So I don't need to keep throwing wood into them in order to keep them running. So that should um, easily, easily be enough. And I've got another spare two burner generators here now as well because of it. I'm hoping, I haven't actually checked very carefully, but I'm kind of hoping that the tank is going to have a big enough grid uh, in order to put in the this, this turret, which I can't put in here because it's a peaceful vehicle or something, I think. Let's, let's check. Yeah, the um, construction vehicle isn't allowed to have guns in it, apparently. <laughs> so we'll uh, leave, leave it with just the, uh, just the robo ports. Come on, research, hurry up. All right, while we're waiting, let's go and build that other station that I was just talking about. Now, there's plenty of room down here, so I'll put it in about here, and then I can link it up to the um, to the railway lines up here without, without too much difficulty. So hopefully it'll still be in my paste buffer. That's a loading station, which is what I want. So I'll put that about, yeah, about there, I think. Uh, without this, I'm going to do that separately. And then we're going to need to take out... I'm not very good at sneaking rail, rail lines through small gaps, so I'm going to take out a big chunk of this. And this is why I end up with so much ammunition and coal in my inventory, I'm kind of aware of that. So let's see, this is this is the way out, and trains travel on the right, so I need to put that there, and there. And over here it goes... Uh, what? Okay, that'll do I suppose. Oh, it's not quite long enough. Okay, so I'm, a, I'm aware from what happened before that if I put this, if I just let this build itself, I'm going to end up with a station here that stops the sapphire going to the iron construction area, and that's just going to break it. So I don't need to make sure that doesn't happen, or rather that I make sure I catch it as, as quickly as possible when it does. That's going to produce crazy amounts, and it's going to blow off loads and loads of gas here, but never mind. Um, we don't really care because we just need to, because we've got this balance, so this will all be nicely looked after. And we won't run out of any of the three products. We'll just keep generating them as fast as we can. And that ain't going anywhere for a while anyway until those warehouses and inserters get put in. Ah, tanks are finished. How do I build a tank? What is this going to require? That's not too bad, actually. So we need some steel, red circuits, engines, and steel. Uh, iron, red circuit, yeah. Some of those words. Have we belted those anywhere around here? Yes. 15 gears. And we need to find a load of engines as well. So I know I was building engines. Oh yes, it was up here. And I've got lots of them anyway. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, <laughs> okay, I've got everything I need. Excellent. Right, let's have a look at this shiny new tank. So in this... Oh, it's got a by two grid. I can't put any of the good stuff in. That plasma cannon's too big. Power thing's too big. Oh, damn it. So actually, I haven't got a good way of making um, cannon shells at the moment. So I actually just have a mobile machine gun turret. So I can... There we go gonna have to play this game. So yeah, I can shoot stuff with machine guns. That's not gonna be much good against the bigger biters. <laughs> I got really excited about that as well. Sucks. It's quite quick though. 
Maybe that's because I've been driving the construction vehicle around too much, but this seems reasonably reasonably speedy. I wonder if it's going to be practical to do the um, kiting biters thing with this. I suspect it's not, but I sort of want to try. <laughs> this is probably going to go badly, and you're all going to laugh at me and call me an idiot. But, yeah, I want to give it a try anyway. Maybe I need to upgrade it to the Mark II tank, and that'll have enough space to put the plasma turrets in the... Um, the tank. Okay, so we've got plasma turrets here. They, they, they'll they provide me my backup. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay, let's dump some stuff I don't need in the tank. Like that and that. I'm actually quite worried. I'm not sure this is going to work at all. I'm just going to get caught in the splash damage from those. Um... Yeah, this feels like a bad idea. Especially as my tank's on fire. <laughs> right. That was the um, shortest lived tank expedition I could, I could imagine. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so I, I was, my suspicions were right. I don't have um, the technology level to uh, defend against or to take a tank out against the aliens at the moment. That's a shame. I was really looking forward to that. It was when I thought I was going to be able to use the, the plasma turret on the tank as a sort of an automated defense. I was just going to be able to run around in circles and it'd be firing away automatically at them and it'd blow everything up and it'd be absolutely fantastic. But no, it didn't fit. Hacks. So what about tank two and the next one up? What do you get from this? You get a purple tank. Ah, oh, that has a something by four equipment grid, so I would actually be able to fit the other thing in there. Uh, tank artillery, that sounds interesting. Don't get that with a standard tank, though. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh, I don't even have a car in my pocket. Oh good, the bot construction is still going. We are still building the um, uh, construction bots. So I am slowly adding to my fleet. I now have 449 of them. And that's that's quite a lot. That's a good fleet, but when I've got still got 500 objects missing construction robots, that means there's still two things and a bit for each one to do because there's whatever they're carrying plus another one, and then and I'm, and I'm still missing the material for. Um, I haven't got any um, flotation cells being built apparently. Is that true? Probably. I'm, I assume it's true. It'd be up here somewhere if it was, I suspect, because I I've got everything running up here. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Right, um, that's a potentially a problem. Yeah, if these stations are summoning things, then the train and the trains are just sitting in the stations, going, "I don't know how to take that." Um, that could be a problem. Send this to Sapphire Drop One. Where am I? Okay. Um, could send that to Sapphire Drop Two. That probably makes sense. Three. Yeah. So this is this is where the problems are going to start. Because LTN is going to start trying to create drops at all of these stations. Oh dear. Um, is there a easy disable the station thing? I don't want to delete this. I want to just turn the station off. Um, especially as all of these, as soon as they get a um, combinator to tell them what to do at least, are all going to be asking for sapphires. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh no. I was hoping there's going to be an option in here to disable the station until it's ready. In fact, what I was originally hoping was that trains wouldn't even try to come here because they'd know they wouldn't be able to get here. But apparently LTN isn't that smart. It doesn't split your base up into separated logistics zones. I mean, this this one is correct. It is going to want Sapphirite. Get rid of that for now, though. Can I, can I make some combinators? No, I've got rid of all my copper. But that's not too... Oh, my construction vehicle somewhere else. I need to be able to summon the construction vehicle like a Batmobile. Which I suppose means I need to start using construction trains, because trains can be summoned. As long as you've got as long as you're on the railway line and you've got a station. Another thing I'm going to need is signals to get these stations up and running properly. I'm just gonna about I don't know, so three hundred of each come in. Okay, that's cleared my inventory out a little bit, so I've got space to play. Let's go and get stationing. Right, so that station is no longer summoning anything. I'm going to have to go through and reprogram them all, which is a bit of a pain, but never mind. It's not too bad. At least this will stop them, hopefully, summoning a bajillion trains that will come over and try and do things I don't want them to do. That is a pickup station, so it doesn't matter. You don't need to tell a pickup station what it deals in, because it already knows, because it's, that's what it's got just sitting around. So that one should be safer. This one, on the other hand, is not safe. This is also a um, drop-off. Okay, that's the lot, at least for now. Oh, no, 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 it isn't. There's that one that I put in for loading up the sodium hydroxide. Hopefully that's not been built yet. 
Oh, there's quite a few things missing. Now, some of these things I'm sure I am building, so maybe it just means they've run out of run out of supplies of that particular thing. Yeah, here we go. Here's another sign of the um, the problems I've been having. This train doesn't know where to go now. Let's have it go to. It's full of sapphires, isn't it? Yes. Sapphire drop two. Hopefully, there's room for another train's worth there. What about you? Oh, and another one. <laughs> oh no! Wait, don't do that. Or that. Go there until empty. You. No. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so these don't have quite as much in them. So hopefully there'll be enough room to dump it all. I hope. How are these doing? Oh yeah, there's only 16, 17,000 in these. That's fine. They can cope with that much. Another couple of trains worth. Okay, good. Need to get over to that one. I think this is now basically under control. Yes, I've got these two trains queued up to drop off a little bit more sapphire there. But the warehouse is easily big enough to take that extra load. It'll just be slightly longer before we send one out to the to the mines again. I need to make a copy of a station that requests something random like fish. Okay, that one's safe. Good. Just thinking just to make sure I don't get this sort of thing happening again. Okay, so this is claiming I don't have stack inserters and I don't have LTN stations. Now, LTN stations I started building down here. Yes, they are going onto the bus. There's 10 in there. That's not a problem. It's lying to me. I mean, it might just be there aren't any bots for it. Maybe that's what it means. Um, stack inserters. That'd be up here. Now, they're being made, and the, yeah, okay, and there's 100 of them. Again, lying through its teeth. It must just be that it's not got any bots. It's very confused. Let's wait till that comes back down to about zero, and then we'll then we'll worry about it and see if any extra debugging is needed. Cool, I'm pulling through a lot of um, this tin. Oh, I see, yeah, this is just tin plates. Um, that's coming up here with the copper because that's making the brass as well. Okay. Um, hmm. How is coal? Coal is coping. I don't like that these ones in the middle are empty. Maybe I should come up here and replace all the replace these with um, the standard uh, warehouse-based ones instead. That might be a bit more balanced. I don't think these are even stack inserters, although I'm not sure I can tell the difference. This system's running. I'm not sure why. Oh, maybe I made some, made a little bit of ammunition. I should probably go round again and dump all the ammo back into this chest here to make sure it's <laughs> being recycled properly. Uh, we've got crazy amounts of silicon getting stored up here because of all this tin we're using. So tin and producing silicon as a side product is the obvious way to produce tin. Or I can also get it with cobalt and iron and copper as a side side product. That's probably going to be quite a good way of doing it from the stereotype um, once I get all the floaters up and running. Yeah, that's going to be quite a good way, I think. Whether I'm going to need more zinc or gold, so whether it's in order to get the aluminium, whether I do it from the jeevalite or the rubite, that remains to be seen. We'll have to decide once things get up and running. But with this stockpile of silicon here, <laughs> yeah, I need to um, find a way of making tin that doesn't produce it. I think cobalt is quite good for making steel, because I think you, I think one of the recipes for steel... Let me just check this. Yeah, oh no, it's cobalt steel specifically. It's a different type of steel. Oh, there we go. Steel and silicon can be made to make more steel. That sounds like a sort of a, a self... Can you make... Oh no, you can't make molten back into um, ingots, can you? Okay, that's a shame. So I'll make steel ingots with iron and oxygen. That's okay. And then the steel ingots can be mixed with silicon to make to double the amount of steel I get. That'll get through my silicon nice and quickly. Okay, we can set something like that up. I'll have a steel foundry somewhere as well. Maybe, maybe around here or down here or... Just somewhere. It doesn't really matter. I'll have the trains transporting everything around. Although I won't have any iron ingots. That's a consideration. And I do have iron ingots, actually. They're here. What's happened? Why is this broken? I've run out of jiva light. Why, why have I run out of jiva light? What the hell? And why are you just sitting there? Oh. Okay, and then go back to the depot. Why do I not have any jiva light? What's gone wrong there? This mine isn't exhausted. There's no trains trying to come. Why are you sitting there like a... Why aren't you going down here? Is this one not called depot? Yes, it is. Why is that train sitting there like an idiot? Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, and that's not going to be in the catchment area. No, it's not. I'm going to have to go over there. In fact, quite a bit of this isn't in the um, bot catchment area either. 
Why is that purple? Why is it purple? It's called iron pickup. Don't be called iron pickup. Okay, I'll do. And go. Oh wait, S signal missing as well. There we go. It is quite pleasing and quite a relief that almost every time something goes wrong in Factorio, if you look hard enough, you can work out that it is entirely your own fault. It's not like something doesn't work and it turns out to be due to a bug or something stupid like that. It, the game does tend to be reliable enough that when something doesn't work, you can be pretty confident that you've done something wrong. Like that. <laughs> Signals. I need to signal this. This is too close to the main line to be uh, left untouched for a while. Um, yeah, that is a way out. It's the way in. Uh, this is the way out. Uh, let's. There we go. I think I've run through how to signal these things before, but basically, my um, the way I do it is I splash chain signals everywhere on the inside of well ev the um, the junctions and the connections and all that sort of thing. So anywhere inside like this, where it's in, in the middle. Um, and on the and on the way in, like that one, and then you put in a, a normal signal on the way out, and all the other all the ones before it will work out whether they can go green or not based on that one. This one here is slightly iffy because this is such a short area; there isn't actually room to put a train between those two signals. So maybe that should also be a chain signal as well. Um, but I'm hoping that there won't be trains going up there for too long, and there won't be trains going around here too often. We'll see. I don't have very many signals left though, that's a worry. Am I building signals on the on the bus? Off the bus? I don't think I am. If I was anywhere it would probably be here with the rest of the train stuff. Clearly need to set that up because I get through a lot of signals. That could be another another little one off here I imagine. How, how difficult are signals to make in Angel Bobs? Electronics boards and iron. Electronics boards and iron. Trivial. That's electronics boards. No it's not. Uh, what? Wait. Yeah, it is. So I just need to bring iron out to here as well, and it's iron's only just over there. So yeah, that's uh, nice and easy. Let's get down there and do that. Without driving over the pipes. Good. Let's bring this out here like that. And then I'll, I'll loop the belt down so that the two are together. But what's supposed to be on the... Oh, that's bat... Yeah, batteries. Okay. Yep, yeah, I won't put this on the other side of that belt then. <laughs> it looks like such a good idea for about two seconds. Right, I don't have any of those, so I'm just going to let the bots do it eventually. Should have spread that out a little bit. I could have used one power pole and put it in between the two. Never mind, power poles are cheap. I wonder. Yeah, that is set to one square already, so hopefully those two will be when they're built as well. Um, actually, one square isn't really going to be enough. Oh well, when it, uh, when, I, when it starts to frustrate me, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll deal with it. Ah, oh, good, we're down to only 180 of those now, missing, um, missing bots. So, <laughs> I'd say we're... Um, Two thirds of the way through from when I started. That's good to know. Things are happening, and gradually getting to where they where they should be. Um, let's do this manually. Twenty-five of those is quite a lot. Never mind. <laughs> and now we have the logistics bots bringing the stuff all the way from those chests to me. That's very very good of them. However, if I basically ignore them and drive off, hopefully they'll carry the stuff over quickly enough that. They'll keep me loaded up with them as I as I use them. I've actually run all the way out here, driven all the way out here, without thinking that I'm going to need the signals on the entrance to this as well, um, and the exit as well, I suppose. Why is that going in? That's go. Oh, that's going and in, joining into that one. Okay, so that's kind of already signalled. There we go. Finish that off. Yeah, I think that's all right. Then each of these now. What's the best way to do this? I think at the moment I'm going to assume I'm not going to get too much demand on these. So I'm just going to signal each one like this, top and bottom. I could also go along and put signals all the way along each middle section of these. And maybe I should, just in case more trains come in than I'm expecting. Oh, I love long reach. <laughs> Can you imagine doing this without it? Have I just... Put, I've put that on the wrong side all the way down. And all the way around here as well. Oh, fail... Okay, good. That's all gone yellow. Right. Let's try that again with a bit less fail. So, I've got I've got one I need one of those there and there. I bet this is really thrilling content. 
Okay, well I tried. I've run out of signals and I've run out of rail. Uh, rail that's been built, that is. So I guess we're just going to have to wait a little bit longer for the um, all the bots to get everything under control and finished off and stuff. Oh dear, there's another one there with a duplicate name. I don't even know what this is picking up. <laughs> Let's just call it that for now. Right, what? No station supplying iron plate. Uh, these empty again. Yes. No. Uh, right. Um, I've got another. I've got another duplicate iron pickup. Where is it? How do I find it? <laughs> Obviously, I go and look for the. There it's. Are you even a pick? Oh, your stone pickup. This is all kind of fiddly, but it does seem to be basically working. Basically. Um, I'm having to do a fair amount of bug fixing as I go, but I mean, this is. A little bit like software development, that shouldn't surprise me. These are getting assembled quite nicely. I clearly... Oh, I need to make the um, flotation cell building systems. And these... Okay, well, these will get gradually built out as the pot pots do. Oh, right, they're being fed off this chain down. Okay, let's head back up north and try and get that flotation cell construction system done. It's going to be pretty straightforward, I think. It's just going to be pull off the same belts as everything else in that area and build something slightly different. Why are those all up power? Why was that one missing power? I don't, I don't want to know. I probably miscopied something or something like that. It's the usual reason why these things fail. As I say, user error most likely. Aha, uh -huh, I have reached the end of the land. We shall call it this land. Um, I mean, I can carry on like this. I don't know if this is the... I'm only going to get about one block of this in there, though. I don't think that's sensible. What I should probably do instead is have another row of these along here. Maybe pulling off these, pulling these belts across underneath and having them down further. I or something like that. Okay, what goes into a flotation cell? Okay, I'm clearly not building the Mark II because I haven't got any aluminium. Clay bricks aren't coming down this belt. Most they are. Okay, I don't even need anything from the northern belts. I can just do this down here, like this. Simple. Oh, <laughs> cliff explosives shortage. Um, yeah, there would be actually, because those are built over here, and that's not on the um, logistics network. <laughs> I need to run the logistics network up the side of the railway line. Like this. I'm making a rather redundant um, power network, but I don't see that as a bad thing. Having redundant redundancy in your power delivery system can only be a good thing. This is, of course, going to take approximately forever to lay down, but I don't care because I don't actually need it at the moment. And it means that when I ha when it has all been laid down, I'll have logistic network all the way across here. I should probably link these two up as well to provide an easy path for bots to get across. But basically, I'm going to be able to demand a building somewhere down here and it'll just happen or if I want to build up here I can just extend it up across this way and it'll be so much quicker than it would be if I had to go all the way out there so that's yeah planning for the future basically I could do the same across here as well actually maybe I will later till then though there's still the problem of there not being any um, cliff explosives in the logistics network and obviously I've built some of this over cliffs I'm not sure where but I'm, I'm not surprised uh, let's deal with that this oh, I've only got two. Okay. <laughs> Bots are still bringing me the uh, signals. Oh, and uh, and some inserters as well. They uh, they've been spotting what I've been using. It's gone back up to 600. Did I really lay that much more stuff down? Oh no, I know what it'll be. There'll have been some um, robo ports planted, and they've been given extra range, and they've added added extra range. That's picked up a load more stuff that I wanted building. Okay, this may take a while. Let's get those cliff explosives. How was only... hmm get rid of half of them. And I now need to carry them back into the logistics area <laughs> where they'll get picked up and taken off to blow things up. Hopefully. If not, I'll dump them in a chest somewhere. Uh, like that one. Is... Oh, that's got very full. <laughs> Let's only make about that much pipe in the future, shall we? <laughs> that one's alright. Okay, that means in this one I can put those. Oh, stop it. <laughs> what happened? That's not what I wanted to do. I want to take half of them. Right, there we go. Okay, so those are now available for, I think. Let's do that just in case. Um, they should be available for the bots to use for um, blowing stuff up. So that's that's good. That's that sorted. Right. I think, again, as I said at the end of the last episode, 
this is now a waiting game, just waiting for the damn bots to get everything done. And all these stations to come up with stupid names. So I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna sign off again and just leave this leave this running. I might fiddle with some minor things, but I won't do anything too major. Or if I do, I'll let you know about it. As ever, thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you next time, and I hope this is interesting. And I feel like I've done something big and interesting down here, but it's going to be a while until all of this construction gets finished and we actually get to see the fruits of it. So, I'll, as I say, I'll just wait for it to get, wait for it to finish, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.